All right, so welcome back. Um, now that we got the, uh, that thing. Time for Launch Octopus, the hardest boss in the game. Guts man! <laughs> but you know what's funny? Huh. This boss also has the most mini-bosses of his stage. Could you imagine the last boss in Mega Man period is Guts Man's ass? Oh my god. Didn't they have that in Mega Man 8? Guts Man's ass? No, they had Guts Man, but um, not Guts Man's ass. <laughs> just his ass. <laughs> no, just his... Yeah, just, just his ass. That's the final boss of the internet, though. No, the final boss would probably be Hatsune Miku. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, have you seen uh, Calcium? Calcium? Uh, I forget what it's called. I think she's called Calcium, but there's this other variation of Hatsune Miku that's... Uh, Pretty interesting and also very much disliked because uh, the fans don't like what's different. Uh, yeah, got him. Uh, must be nice uh, not having to worry, having to worry about breathing in water. Yeah, I mean he still excels bubbles. You see, does he ever go into space? Uh, yeah, no. No, uh, they do go into outer space, but uh, I don't know much about the uh, what kind of outer space. And fuck! It is. Fuck! Okay. If only he could duck. Yeah, they do go into outer space in Mega Man X4, but I'm not sure if they're in like a like vacuum space, like a spaceship or. A like, they're in a space station, but, I mean, I don't know if it's, like, a space station where they actually go into vacuum pressure at any point. Yeah, in Sonic 2, I believe you go into a space station. Oh, you go in, in Sonic, uh, Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, you go into outer space with all the Chaos Emeralds. Well, that was short-lived. If you got their weaknesses, they're easy. In the original Mega Man games, Dr. Wily took a long time to kill. It's like, he really didn't have any efficient uh, weaknesses. Yeah. It would just take a while. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, everyone, um, everyone, with no exception, everyone has a weakness in this game. Which is, uh, kind of unique, but once you find out what all the weaknesses are, the game becomes... Well, I probably shouldn't say this game comes too easy, because I know this game is still pretty hard, but it's... It's easy for me. I, I sleep. I play this game in my sleep. Well, yeah, you've, um... I've had this game my whole life. Yeah. This is, uh, I think I, I was six years old when I first played this. That wow. was, a uh, 20... Oh, my fucking God, that's right. I turned 27 last week. That's right. So that would have been 21 years ago when I first played this game. <clears throat> Can't believe that these games are that old. Yeah. And I remember when they were new. Yeah, I remember when Mega Man X3 was still on the shelf in Blockbusters and I wanted to play it. Um, I still want that game, but a, cart a used cartridge of that game goes for like 200 bucks in uh, acceptable condition. Like, what the fuck? And it's not on the Wii Shop. Yeah, because they skimped out on three-fourths of the library, their own library. Fuck, 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 Even fuck. a lot of Nintendo games isn't even on there. It's like, why bother? It's like so the Sony Network. They're fuck my fucking asshole. They skimped on their PlayStation I 2 games. I should have used the... Yeah. Yeah, weren't we talking about like how much work would it be to make a software emulator for the PlayStation 2 that would work on the PlayStation 3's operating system? But it wouldn't take much work, but they want to make profit, so we're going to make PS2 games on the shop, on the network. But, unfortunately, it wasn't a very high priority to Sony. Mm-hmm. And the PS2 games they do have on there are not very good. What? I thought they were classics, though. Beyond. Aren't they called PS2 classics? Uh... Well, even a piece of crap can be classic, depending on who you talk to. Mm -hmm. Personally, Beyond Good and Evil is a piece of crap. It's beyond a piece of crap. <laughs> it's beyond a classic. Um, wait, is Beyond Good and Evil uh, on the shop? I think so. 
That would be funny if that ricochet... Oh, I'm out of shield! Just one more hit. <laughs> Damn, that was close. I could have used a sub-tank, though, but whatever. Yeah, see, that guy's pretty hard, even with his weakness. Yeah. Now you gotta save your E-tanks for the last part of the game. Well, you can always recharge them again after you've used them. Oh. But it's tedious. Alright, now that we got the hardest one in the game, the rest of the game's gonna be a cakewalk. Um, next one is Jill Penguin. But you already did that one! Oh, come on. Don't give me that. What's... what's there? Uh, another heart tank. Uh, I figured I was gonna save it. Um... Ooh! Homing missiles, that's what you get from walking, oct walking octopus. Launch octopus. It'd be awesome if they, if they included a spread shot, like, from Contra. I think, um, they do- oh, wait. Spread missiles. That's why you gotta work, watch out for these wheels. One hit will not kill them, it'll just make them knock over. Mm -hmm. I'm using this, the homing missiles right now because it makes it easier. Save me time. Oh, I like that thing. Fuck. See, sometimes I have difficulties with a D-pad. If you press up and then jump pressing up, you jump out. But I do it by mistake sometimes. Okay. Two more to go. Next is, uh... Boomerang or Kawanger? And the Space Needle. What the hell is that supposed to be? Uh, a Kawanger? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Boomer Kawanger. I think a Kawanger is like some kind of weird insect, like a camel spider. Oh, God. I don't know, look it up. Look, what's a Kawanger? The music in this level is pretty good, too. So yeah, this one, I think this is the level that I've had some of the most mem uh, memories of. Mm -hmm. Because one of the power-ups you have to get at the end of this level requires uh, the weapon you get when you beat the last boss. Um, which means every time I would play this as a kid, I would play this level twice. Um, which is sad because this is not the funnest level in the game. But I do like the music, and I remember my friends and I, we used to make jokes about the monsters that we find in this level. Mm -hmm. Um, like for example, oh, and this, this shield makes things easier. Oh wait, shit. The shield's not showing up in the capture. Nope. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah, freaking 30 frames per second, dude. Is there any way we can record S video in 60 frames per second? I.e. probably the Elgato HD 60, but, uh, that thing doesn't support S video. Doesn't support older games. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, but yeah, if there is a way, someone please tell us. I would like to know. Um, but yeah. Alright, so here we are at the end. And fortunately, you know who Gerard is? The completionist? No. Oh. I watched a video of him completing this game, and he showed me a trick. Check this out. Surf's up! Ha -ha. Nice! It just requires a little skill, you see, but uh, I used to get the boomerang power-up, which you get by beating the boss on this level. And this is the end of the level! So when I was a kid, I would always have to play this level twice. Which is also one of the reasons why I got into the habit of doing it last. 
Also, this ice power up is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, chill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can you do it with half of your life? Yes, this guy's actually uh, another one of those bosses that's pretty hard, but when you got his weakness, he's easy. Easier than... oh god. Not easier than Spark Mandrill. Uh, he's fast, isn't he? Not when I got homing missiles. Yeah, where you going now? Can't dash all over the place when you got homing missiles coming at your ass. You, even your teleporter turning invisible doesn't work. Yeah, see, he can teleport, he can turn invisible, he can dash, and he's got a boomerang that chases you. But hmm. the homing missiles... That used to be my uh, text message. Oh, that, that sound <laughs> yeah. right there? No, the... Uh, <coughs> Do -do 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 beat the level. All right, next is Spark Mandrill. Did you just you beat him? Didn't you? Are you sure about that? I thought you beat him. I don't think you can prove that. Also, I love this music. But you didn't come here for that. Of course I did. I love this music. This is the best, my favorite track on this uh, album. There we are. Last oh, E tank. Wow. See, I needed the boomerang power for it. That's the last E tank. Got them all. Now you can e exit the level. Yeah. Nice. All right, this is a good time to take a break. Yeah. On the next episode, Sting Chameleon. Oh, uh, there's a guy called Commercial. <laughs> Sting Gecko.